Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. We have been living in this system of normalized violence and we've been killing animals at such a fast pace. I mean, we kill more animals in four to 12 hours than all the humans that ever died in wars throughout human history put together. Wow. Why did we have to create a planet that looks dead, that kills things, that kills animals left and right, that kills trees, that kills rhinoceroses, that kills, kills, kills. I mean, that's all we do. You know, we're killing machine. Climate Crisis, Countdown to Year Zero, Part One of Seven. Continue watching to find out more. Welcome to Part One of our seven-part series on the climate crisis, featuring the illuminating documentary Countdown to Year Zero, produced by Ms. Jane Valles Mitchell, award-winning journalist and CEO of the Jane Unchained News Network, and featuring Dr. Selesh Rowe, a lead developer of the Internet and founder and executive director of Climate Healers. This riveting film presents an urgent appeal for human beings to change. With Earth experiencing record high global temperatures, the cease mass extinction of wild animals and widespread environmental disasters, such as hurricanes, floods, forest fires, and rising sea levels. We have little time to act. We must make a change now, if we are to survive. But what must we do? How can we rescue the Earth from the brink of destruction? Continue watching, make one simple change, and save the planet. This affects everything. Something that we can all do and a something that's really creating a very positive change. Maybe the solution is to look in the mirror. We have been living in this system of normalized violence and we've been killing animals at such a fast pace. I mean, we kill more animals in four to 12 hours than all the humans that ever died in wars throughout human history put together. Wow. Why did we have to create a planet that looks dead, that kills things, that kills animals left and right, that kills trees, that kills rhinoceroses, that kills, kills, kills. I mean, that's all we do. You know, we're killing machines. 52% of all wild vertebrates died between 1970 and 2010, and more of them died in 2010 than they died in 1970. So you can imagine that there is this exponential growth in the, in the killing of wild vertebrates, wild animals. By 2012, it had become 58%. So if we just follow that trend, by 2026, they're going to be 100% gone. When the earth is ravaged, and the animals are dying, a new tribe of people shall come unto the earth from many colors, classes, creeds, who by their actions and deeds shall make the earth green again. We are here live in Arizona at Woo. the headquarters of Voice America Radio with Dr. Salesh Rao, who is a man who was instrumental in the creation of the internet. He is going to use the same process that they used to create the internet to create a vegan world by 2026. First of all, you have to understand why we have to do this so quickly. And so that was the beginning. You know, when I realized how fast we were killing wild animals, if you look at the World Wildlife Fund Living Planet Report, it gives you statistics that tell you very clearly we have to change by 2026 otherwise we are in big trouble. When you say big trouble what do you mean? Death and extinction. This is a very serious issue. If you're killing all the wild animals off then we're literally killing ourselves off. It's something that we have never ever faced before as humanity. We have been living in this system of normalized violence and we've been killing animals at such a fast pace. Climate change is an amorphous issue. It's you know, methane and all sorts of things that we can't really, with our own eyes, calculate. But when I realize that we're giving planet Earth a buzz cut, that we're destroying all the forests in order to grow crops to feed tens of billions of farm animals that we kill every year, then I really got it. Because we're only 7.6 billion humans. Our carbon footprint is not actually 
that big. The Earth could easily accommodate us and maybe even a billion more or more than that. It's the animals we're eating. Meanwhile, we're running around telling each other that we're animal lovers, which is the tragic irony mm. of it all. But all those animals have to eat. People don't realize 70% or more of all soy is fed to farm animals. Corn, grain, it's all going into farm animals that then don't produce that much food. Hi, baby. Hi, sweetie. Oh, hi. I just wanted to say goodbye to you and tell you how much we love you. We're so sorry. We're so sorry, baby. In industrial agriculture, you have to you have to build things for them. You have to keep them packed tightly. You have to heat them. You have to cool them. You have to take care of their manure. Uh, you have to transport them. Uh, all of the aspects of animal agriculture add up to the single uh, biggest problem, and including methane, which uh, you want to call a cow fart, you can. It takes eight pounds of grain to produce one pound of beef. We could stop destroying the forest. We could end world hunger, human world hunger, by uh, giving that food directly to starving children, and we could save all these animals, and we could stop climate change if we just changed our diets. These struggle to, to find uh, land in order to grow crops, in order to feed non-human animals, is rapidly depleting the amount of forest that's left. Most people don't even think about the fact that less than a third of the Earth's surface is land. And not all of that land is even viable for agriculture. And of that agricultural land, about three quarters is used for animal agriculture in some way, shape, or form. It's wildly inefficient. So as a byproduct, uh, there are n no places for non-human animals such as chimpanzees, gorillas, and many other species to go. It's going to lead to their extinction if it doesn't stop, and it's going to lead to their extinction soon. So what would you say to conservationists who still are eating animals? Well, you need to call yourself something else other than a conservationist. What's the problem? What's the solution? Revolution. I'm here with a very special message. Inside of here is my daughter. I want her to have a good planet to live on. Not just a planet to live on, because this planet will survive us but a good planet to live on. And part of that is internalizing what's really happening with our environment. You cannot be an environmentalist without being vegan. A vegan family here at the climate change protest. Husband, wife, and two kids, all vegan. They're also supporting the Green New Deal. What I'm starting to see here doing an informal survey is that most kids are aware of the connection between animal agriculture and climate change. When they talked about veganism or not eating animals or the problems with animal agriculture, they kept coming back to the cruelty. Even at a climate change march, that seemed to be the biggest motivator to not eat animals. My name is Perla Alvarez. So many of us are so busy um, working and finding a way to like survive in this world World, but we should also find a way to protect it and that's by going vegan and also uh, protecting the animals they're important as well they have feelings and I believe that the torture that they're having is horrible I'm trying to also uh, help my family become vegan because they have health issues Carla Veronica Alegria I've been vegan two years now first it was for health reason my family have um, health problems like diabetes cholesterol so that's one of one of the main reasons I wanted to change I've been trying to get Pope Francis to go vegan for Lent and as kids I think this is going to be our planet so if we want a planet we have to do something about it so thank you. Countdown to year zero. Thank you for these wise words that even children understand. Going vegan is the number one thing we can do to halt climate change. But how can everyone in the world be informed about this? What must we do? Thank you, Ms. Jane Valles Mitchell, for producing the documentary and all the individuals who are involved in the movie.